I'm gonna be taking every single Uber Eats order for 10 hours straight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It has taken me weeks, actually months, to muster up the strength to make this video. Uber Eats taking every single order. Oh, how much this series has shortened my lifespan due to the vast amounts of stress and anxiety and anger that it brings me. Ah! We are back. 10 hours of taking every single Uber Eats order, 2,200 likes, and we will do 11 hours of taking every single order. This series has brought me nothing but pain, but you guys love it, so I'm going to continue it. Here is our first offer, surprisingly, actually, not terrible. It's pretty good, actually. The dollar per mile is better than a dollar per mile, which is rare in this series. <coughs> Six dollars for 18 miles. Popeyes. Let's just go to, what is this, your mom's pancake house or something like that? Oh, the pancake snob, nowhere close. Off to a, yeah, the sun is bright as heck. Off to a hot start, we're stuck in traffic. What a, woo, beautiful, right? Great way to start the morning. No, it's not. Sarcasm. You could see it in the distance. It's like standstill traffic. Also, oh, first off, at the place. Also, this place is five different places on Uber Eats. If you look, it's all at the same diner. Is that legal? If so, it's genius. It's actually genius. <laughs> Dog, the only thing that saves me in these Uber Eats videos are low mileage orders. And I can't even do them today because there's traffic out the wazoo. We could be in for a long one, folks. So, uh, yeah, little did I know I was I was right. We were in for a a long one. Buckle up, get some popcorn, and uh, drop a like. Twenty two hundred likes, and we'll do eleven hours. And subscribe if you're new. Why not? First order dropped off. I have a good feeling about that. That was a pretty decent start to the morning. I'm thinking through all the pain I've been through, today should be a much better day. I was wrong. $7 for 20 miles. Ugh. It's your fault. Two 7-Eleven, I guess. Ugh. Finance JB is entering the building. Uh, this is a pizza from 7-Eleven for a 28 minute drive, 20 miles. Is 7-Eleven pizza that good that you need to order it from 20 miles away? Whew. I don't think any pizza is worth 20 miles. Oh, that's, that's not true. But 7-Eleven pizza? Let me know in the comments. Is 7-Eleven pizza worth 20 miles? And there's no 7-Eleven closer to you than 20 miles? Put the fries in the bag, bro. This is fun. I love delivering these orders, knowing that I'm delivering miles and miles away for no money at all. for my recent out <coughs> clown hair <sighs> well that was 
fun? <coughs> I'm lying. Spoiler alert, the orders get much, much worse. I don't even know how some of them are humanly possible. But I'm interrupting the video to let y'all know that I'm going to be posting more on Patreon. I'm talking Patreon exclusive DoorDash videos, DoorDash Power Hour. We're going to be doing polls, community stuff on there, giveaways, all that stuff. Just a way to create a stronger community of people as well as help support me and this channel because every single dollar is going directly back into this channel because ladies and gentlemen i'm going to let you in on a little secret 10 hours we did in this video and it was the worst dollar per hour i've ever had in a video so <laughs> uh check it out if you want to link in the description if not uh oh well let's get back to the video welcome to the official two hour mark um and this is how much we have that is uh, abysmal and uh how about try 36 miles driven as well oh, 36 miles but nonetheless thanks walmart for like i mean considering the last offer this is this is better so uh yeah 14 dollars for like 16 miles gonna take me an hour obviously we have to take it because that's the point of the video Just got to the mall wart. Now we patiently wait for our order and then, oh wait, there's our guy. Oof. Just picked up the orders. It was actually super easy. The guy was standing right there once I checked in. Uh, 18 minutes to the first drop off and then there's another drop off. I have no idea how far that one is. First order <laughs> dropped off. I go to park on the side of the road so I could drop this off and some lady comes sprinting off her deck, goes, no, 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 you can't park there. You can't park there. No, 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 no parking, no parking. I'm like, I just need to park here. I'm dropping off at this house right here. And she goes, okay. I'm like, do you own the sidewalk? <laughs> 17 minute drive to the second drop off. This is absurd. Oh dear. <laughs> Am I right? Cause get it? Cause they're they're deer. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh well. Welcome to hour three, and this is how much we have. <clears throat> and we have driven fifty-nine miles. I had to double check the solo app. They're tracking all of our miles for the day. I was like, no, no way. And it, it's true. Oh, can I just sit here for the next seven hours and just pray that not a single order comes by unless it's just a juicy fat offer. And then you hit me with this. <laughs> $6.60 for nine miles. Honestly, could be a whole lot worse. I mean, again, this is one where you can't really blame the customer. I'm 5.6 miles away from the Chick-fil-A. Like, how am I the closest Uber Eats driver to that? There's no other Uber Eats drivers within a, di oh God, a lot of cars. In that distance. All right, just pulled up to the dick filet. Stop it. D-bag, time to shine, buddy. Flawless. Update on D-bag. Looks like he got hit by an 18-wheeler. And then it backed up over him and then proceeded to run over him nine more times. But he's getting the jab done. Oh, hey, look, your fellow neighborhood clown is back. Uh... Why? Uh, try $4 for 13 miles to Kung Fu Tea, delivering to Westchester. And might I say, yes, there is a Kung Fu Tea in Westchester. So why are you ordering it 
from nine miles away. Look, look. I'm a clown and I still understand. That's no good. Finance JB entering the room yet again. He's in the room with us currently as we speak. Uh, one bubble tea for a 16 minute drive. Finance, that's Finance JB, not me. Finance JB. Next up, we have one that's actually more than a dollar per mile. We are in uncharted territories. The map doesn't, uh, I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's it's a shop and pay order, and it's still seven miles, and it's gonna take forty minutes to make ten dollars. But for today's standards, that's that's pretty damn good. Oh man, just picked it up. It's real nice to know that I have a two dollar and seventy cent order waiting for me when I drop this off. Thanks, Uber Eats. No downtime for $2.70, thank you. Oh, it pains me. We are only at the halfway mark, five hours down. <laughs> this is how much we have. It, it, I'm, I'm ill, I'm ill. And 89 miles driven. Off to Indian Hut for our $2.70 order. Life is good. Wait, wait, wait. One second. Am I reading this right? $9 for three mile add-on? Did I actually just get a good order for? If five hours it took me to get a good order. <laughs> Thank you, Chipotle. Just picked it up. Uh, I did run into someone that knew me from the channel. His name was Mike, so always nice to run into somebody that knows me. That's so cool that somebody watched my video and then I ran into them in public. It just makes no sense how small the world is, but very cool, very fun, very fresh. I guess you wonder where Oh, hey, welcome to the down low angle for the first time in the video. Eight minute drive to the first drop off and then it's the Chipotle drop off. All righty, we just got another offer here. $11, 16 miles. Seven minute drive, se seven, five to seven minutes to the pickup at first watch. Twenty three minute drive to the drop off, and this smells so good. It would be <laughs> such a mystery if, like, one of these breakfast burritos was just like like disappeared like that would be so weird I like I would I wouldn't know how that happened I, I would just like to clarify I'm, I'm not going to be eating the customer's order ladies and gents a rare two good news one we got an extra four dollar cash tip on that can't complain too much when you get a cash tip very rare but always very juicy second i got my thumbnail for the video three dollars for 14 miles Ugh. the walk of shame clown jb would also like to let you know that we are at six 
hours down. This is how much we have, I have no idea, plus the $4 cash tip we just got. 113 miles. What is up with these glasses? It looks like I got hit by a bus. Just picked it up, a 16 minute drive to the drop off. And of course, no tip, you know what that means. It's a hand it to me, I don't get it. Every single no tip order has been a hand it to me. But in the end, it's all worth it. Curry. Just dropped it off. Nothing beats four dollars for 31 minutes of work. Rock to the rhythm, you don't stop. Lucky old me, that is <laughs> that's better than the last one. Five dollars and fifty cents for ten miles. Thankfully, I was driving in this direction anyway because the last one basically put me out in the middle of nowhere. So my mental sanity is falling as well, and the camera is falling. Bye bye. See you at McDonald's. We are seven hours down. This is how much we have. I don't know until the tips are finalized. 144 miles and we still have three hours to go. If anybody would like to check in with me, I'm a uh, I'm down bad. $9 for 25 miles, and it's gonna take an hour and 13 minutes to make $9? How is that legal? What the hell? What? Three different orders, shall I say. Just picked up the orders. They're like one thing in each of them. Like, these are three different pickups. This one, then this one, and then this one. 12 minute drive to the first drop off. Make sure you subscribe because I sent this to chat on Uber Eats and I said, hey, basically, I just wanna let you know the offers that your company is sending them. And poor, poor Joey. Joey's probably gets paid the bare minimum because Uber Eats sucks. So this poor guy is probably like, I, I don't care. Let's go, first one dropped off and we still have a 16 minute drive to the second drop off. And then there's another one after. <laughs> oh. All right, 55 minutes down and we still have a 10 minute drive to the final drop off. This is absurd. Uber Eats, that's where you belong. <laughs> Get it cuz it's cuz it's it's garbage. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny cuz it's garbage. Hey, hey Uber Eats, you want to take another dive in that garbage tank too? Garbage tank. That's not that's not even a phrase. It's official, nine hours down. We've been waiting like 15 minutes for an offer, nada. 176 miles. Oh wow, would you look at that? Another order that's not a dollar per mile. Wow, I'm so excited. Back in the good old Walmart pickup, you know, I don't have any PTSD in this parking lot. 
just picked it up. Thankfully, all of this is just going to one person. The guy that brought out the Walmart order actually said he saw my Walmart Spark video, which is crazy. That's two people in one day. That has never happened. I can see the promised land. I'm so very close, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, uh, somebody <laughs> likes milk. <laughs> Got milk? <laughs> Probably not, because this guy bought it all, so. After it was all said and done, we worked a total of 10 hours and made $107.17 or a dollar per hour before expenses of $10.72. Absolutely horrible. So please join the Patreon. If y'all check it out, the link in the description. I'll be posting more videos on there. DoorDash Power Hours. Check it out. It helps support these horrible, horrible financial decisions I make like trying to deliver all of these garbage orders. Thank you, Uber Eats. All right, back back on topic. Using the solo app, link in the description. If you want to sign up, it automatically tracks your miles throughout your gig work so you don't have to. If you join using the link in the description, get a free week trial. It showed me that we drove 191.06 miles or a dollar per mile of 56 cents. Ladies and gentlemen, no taxes on this video. Thank you very much. But yeah, make sure to subscribe for more Uber Eats videos. And as I said, check out the Patreon if you're interested. If not, uh, that's okay. But nonetheless, bye.